Well, Kaiser Redux was updated. You can see it by changed picture in the load screen. And there we can see probably Vladimir Lenin. Or it's not Lenin. I don't know. But to me he seems look like Lenin. But anyway, today we are going to play as Ukraine and reunify the whole Ukrainian people. Cause now Ukrainians are separated in a lot of countries, such as Kuban People's Republic, Almighty Don Host, Russian Republic, White Rutenia, Kingdom of Poland, Galicia Lodimeria, Kingdom of Hungary, Romanian Legionary Kingdom and other countries. But now we need to reunify Ukrainians in one country, in our kingdom or state. I don't know what it's going to be, but anyway, let's start our campaign and enjoy! I really don't know which path we are going to choose today. And also now you can become a sponsor of my channel. You can get a lot of buffs and also get unique symbols. That's going to help me and my channel. Oh, and also you will get earlier access to the video. Now we can read about our kingdom. Shenev Merla, Ukraine. Oh, there you can read about our government and from this text we understand that we have a lot of problems in our government and we should provoke the peasants. Ukraine under Rex Pact control isn't doing good. Oh, and what about uh, the population of the Kingdom of Ukraine? Now it's 40 million people. Like we have in a modern Ukraine right now. It was nearly dead before the Russian invasion in February 2022. Now... What is the population of the Ukraine? I don't know. Oh, Белая Гвардия, Mikhail Bulgakov. Welcome, cocksucker. Now we have the Napoleon 6. Well, now we have even events about the Crimea. Let's be good with Crimea. Is the tax burden for Crimeans? Cause we want to Crimea left with us. Not to be independent or go to the Russians. So what about me? I would like to choose the third option. To call the snap elections. To create a popular hetmanate. And after that probably make the grand coronation. And you know, the regions remind me the Russian occupation of the Ukrainian uh, territories. Like even in the east. Even in the south, it really looks like the Russian occupation of the Ukrainian territories in 2022. Based scene with the Kherson, with Zaporizhia, with Donbass and with Luhansk. Even with Kharkiv. Well, Kaiser Schizophrenia is always a Kaiser Schizophrenia. Just look at that. The French Empire has started the war against the Ottoman Empire because they have attacked Libya. Cringe French Empire, you know. Well, I would like that the National Democratic Party is going to win, because there we have the Pavlo Skarpatsky, Dmitry Doroshenko, Andrei Levitsky, Igor Kisyakovsky. Uh, they were like the creators of the Ukrainian state that has existed in 1918, and it was the cool state, so I choose them. You can read a lot about the second hetmanate or the Ukrainian state of the Pavlo Skarpatsky in the internet. It was the best Ukrainian state in 20th century, except the independent Ukraine. And yes, Skarpatsky dissolves the Rada. No more of this election nonsense. Okay, we didn't get the popular hetmanate, but we get the Ukrainian unity. Why not? Uh, let's do it. Ukrainian unity looks like from River Sian to Caucasus. One of the most important scenes in the Kaiser Redux is that they have located Poltava correctly. It's the correct location of Poltava in Ukraine. I'm going to put like for this to you developers of the Kaiser Redux. Cause someone put Poltava here, someone put Poltava here, someone even put Poltava right here. But correctly it locates right up here. Ok, now we got the rare scene in the Russia. Orenburg Kazakh host and the Far Eastern Republic of the Transamur has created their own alliance against the Russian Republic. Not bad decision, you know, unification of the Kazakhstan and the Far East Russia. And also horrors of the socialism has came to the Norwegian Union. Arbeiderpartiet. It sounds scary. 
The Empire of Cringe now has declared war to the Sultanate of Egypt. What the fuck do you want to do? Do you want to crush the whole Middle East and the whole North Africa or what? Cringe Empire really approves its name. King Vasil is the bad king. We need to choose another king. We are going to choose between Leo Stefan Gabsburg or Daniel Skarapatsky. Of course we are going to choose the Giga chat Daniel Skarapatsky. Leo Stefan von Gabsburg is just a soy boy. Austrian soy boy that can't rule Ukraine. But Daniel Skarapatsky is a good man, a strong man. Cause he is Skarapatsky. True Ukrainian man. Based Ukrainian man. Only Ukrainians can rule Ukraine. Well, what about language question in Ukraine? Uh, the first point, we haven't recognized the Russian language, but we gave opportunity to regions to choose the regional languages. And they have chose the Russian as the second regional languages. So in the final, we considered to give the Russian language the same position in a national scale. Yazyk and Mova should be have common future in Ukraine. Basically, now we have two languages, Russian and Ukrainian, in Ukraine. That's the good point. Happy birthday, Vasil, happy birthday, Vasil, happy birthday to you. Explosion on the Dnieper. There we go. Now our king is Daniel Skarapatsky, he is Daniel I, and our hetman is the Pavlo Skarapatsky, his father. The based hetman of the Ukrainian state, of the Ukrainian hetmanate, of Kingdom of Ukraine. And now somehow we got the oligarchism. I thought we have like a monarchism, not the oligarchism. In the question of our foreign politic, we are going to choose a sovereign Ukraine. Ukraine is going to left alone. And I want this. Living with Russia, it's like becoming their puppet, the same way with the Germans. Austria is a cringe, so we got only one option, it's the sovereign Ukraine. Ukraine is alone, irrespective of this hard trust, we still have our brave and numerous citizens who stand ready to work hard and defend Ukraine from the various enemies who want to enslave them. Let's hope that this noble civic impulse won't perish within the people of our country in the future. The spirit of freedom should lead us. Like, let's make our first expansion in October 1937 and demand the Bessarabia back from the Romania. Why not? I think that we can easily deal with Romanians and gain our population back to Ukraine. Plus, I have multipiled our army. Ukrainian claim on Bessarabia. Bessarabia was occupied by Romanian forces on the 27th of March 1918. And yeah, we gained back the Bessarabia after 19 years of the Romanian occupation. Now Romania has no access to the sea. It's like Hungary. Hungary has too no access to the sea. Well done my brothers, and these territories are the core territories. That's the best one scene that we have right now. While we are still allies with the Germans, let's make the electrification and industrialization of Ukraine by their money and on their money. So like spend German money to build the great Ukraine that is going to leave the Reichs Pact. Hell yeah! <laughs> yep yep, our daddy grants us a loan for electrification. Germany is truly our friend and protector. Who we want to fuck up? Well, now we can say goodbye to the Ukrainian nationalists. Their party is going to be destroyed. Well, 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 what do we see? Belarus has gone to the Russian alliance. I mean, now they are the occupied puppet of the Russia. You know, Russia with borders like that and the Belarusian puppet, it reminds me something, you know? Even this man, he also reminds me Александр Григорьевич Лукашенко. А я сейчас вам покажу, откуда готовилось нападение на Беларусь. И если бы за 6 часов не был нанесен превентивный удар, 4 позиции я вам сейчас покажу. But in the other side it's good for me, cause now I can get the Ruthenian claims on the Moldry and Pinsk. They were also the part of the Ukrainian state in 1918. 
but we still got the small border with the Reichs Pact near Wawkowysk and Beristia. We connect by that corridor with the Lithuania. Okay, I didn't understand that move that Russia has annexed Pinsk and Modery. Why the hell you need these territories without other parts of the Belarus? It seems to me that they just want to make the special military operation against me only from their territories, cause Belarus won't take part in it. And yeah, starting from Modery, going to the Kyiv, starting from Pinsk, moving to Lutsk, and starting from East Russia, moving to Kharkiv, Poltava, Kremenchuk, Slavyansk, Dnipro, Zaporizhia and other Ukrainian cities. And also invading Crimea. Russia hasn't changed a lot. Well, 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 Russia has declared war on the Finnish Socialist Republic and that means that they now at the war with the Third International. That's going to be very interesting campaign. Petlura is going to defend Crimea. Share this information in the internet. All people must know about that the Petlura is going to defend Crimea. Finally, this has happened. June 1939, the French National Workers State declared war on the German Empire. Communard started the war against the German Empire, but it seems to me that they are going to lose it even in 1939. Just look at their army. Something strange is happening with the French Communards. I don't know what, but they are really weak. Okay, it's August 1939, two months since the French-German war has started, and Paris has fall. I wasn't even joking about the end of this war in 1939. Wait a second. Uh, they gave Galicia Ladmeria to the Poland. Now we have to fight with the Poland. Привет, Polsha. Мы повинні тебе знищити. Sorry, my dear Polish brother, but I must destroy you, cause you annexed my territories. All my western territories that I need, starting from Helm, going to the Transcarpathian Rutenia. I think that we can deal with them. Also, also we have to invade Romania, why? Cause they have took my Chernovtsi. I must get back my Chernovtsi to the Ukraine. And after the Western campaign, we will move to the East and destroy Russia. Make Ukrainian Blitzkrieg. Ukrainian special military operation of demilitarization of Russia. Cause look at them, they are not so strong. My dream is that the Ukrainian population is going to rise to the 100 million people. What do you think? Now we have almost 36 million people living in the whole kingdom. But we are going to expand our territories in a great way. Okay, Poland, now you can say your last words. Yep, Ukrainian army is doing so good. Now we are even fighting at the Polish territories. We have reached Radom and after that we are moving to the Warsaw. Yep, Poland has fall, now let's take their territories. And also we are going to liberate small Poland. Polish campaign was just a training before the invasion in Russia. Yep, I like that Poland. And that part we are going to give to Lithuania. Lithuanian Belostok. Like in the original Kaiserreich. We won't liberate Galicia, cause it's going to be cringe situation. We have just divided Poland between Polish population and Ukrainian population. And also Ukraine has reunified our territories in June 1940. The real one reunification happened in the January 1919, when the Western Ukrainian People Republic united with the Ukrainian People Republic. It was a great scene. We will just have the war goal against them, but we won't start the war right now. We got this. Liberation of the Romania has started. We need to liberate Romania from the gypsy rule. Cause they are ruled by the gypsies, by gypsies clans. As well as Bulgaria that is the puppet of the Romania, it's both ruled by gypsies. 
Well, Romania has capitulated and now we are going to take their territories and also take Bulgaria to the Reich's Pact. I'm gonna be their dungeon master. Well, they took Bulgaria, okay, I will give Bulgaria to them, but Romania... Romania is going to be my slave. Now, this is my slave. And post-war Ukrainian-Romanian border looks like this. Now they have access to the sea. And also the invasion in Russia is going to start in a few weeks. In August 1940 we are going to start the special military operation. Even German tanks are moving to my border, but we won't call Germans into this war. The great trial has came to Russians. Oh, and to you too. Goodbye, my Slavic brothers. I don't even need to use my hands to win this war. What about their Eastern Front? It's empty. It's really empty. There is no forces right up here. So we can even like go from these positions. And finally Russia has no access to the Azov and the Black Sea. They have only access to the Caspian Sea. Well, Russians don't even want to defend Moscow and road to the Moscow is free. So we must capture Moscow by the end of the fall 1940. Well, our goals are even greater and better than the Germans in 1941 in real life. Can any of you imagine Ukraine destroying Russia one by one without any allies? I can't imagine it. But of course with my rule we can do it. So I need to be the next president of the Ukraine. And I will make this in the real life. Now we know the real name of this country and the real location of the Serbia. We have no Montenegro but we have Serbia in Montenegro. Montenegro? Never heard about it. Plus one so good encirclement in Commission. Another one great encirclement near Voronezh. Goodbye my Russian brothers. Now you can see how Moscow will fall in a few days. Ugh, Ukrainian forces captured Moscow. And my next goal is to capture Petrograd. Goodbye my lovely Petrograd, goodbye. The blow to Russian morale will be severe. After taking Petrograd only 18% left to the Russian capitulation. Now they moved their capital to the Yekaterinburg. The whole front line with Russians looks like this and almost the whole European part of Russia was captured by Ukrainian forces, only by Ukrainian forces. Finally, in May 1941, Russia has capitulated. Whew. And now we have the partition of their territories with Turkestan. And this part of Russia I will give to the Turkestan brothers. But first we need to capture Croatia. Strange Croatia. Based kingdom of Ukraine. And of course now we need to deal with Slovenia, who has left in the war with us. And what about this Serbia? I'm going to destroy it and annex. Cause this is, was a cringe situation. Let's liberate a great Mongolia. I'll even give them a few Russian territories, wait a second. Okay, now I can say that we have kinda based Mongolia. Mongols will like us a lot. Finlandia. Finlandia. Based Finlandia. Oh, and um, let's separate Siberia from Russia. And look at this, now we got the Siberia plus Far Eastern Russia. And Mongols right here. And a small Russian Republic with Felix Yusupov. Aristocrats rules Russia. Okay, basically I have returned some lands to them, but now I would like to deal a little bit in another way and take my territories back. And I'm gonna give Belarus a new territories, cause we took their territories and we will give them new territories. I know that now we have a weird... I understand that we have now a weird border, but I can't release Kalmykia right up here and I can't release North Caucasian Emirate right up here, so I gave these territories to Russia. I know that borders in some way look strange and cringe, 
but let it be, we can't just release a few states. And now Slovenia is going to be easily destroyed, cause our forces has reached their territories. Slovenian Blitzkrieg looks like successful campaign. Of course we are going to release Serbia, no, it will be under Serbian control. Jesus Christ, I don't want to have this war. Uh, it's not logic. This war isn't even logically, so no, 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 no. Well, post-war Balkans looks like this. We have the based Croatia, not bad Serbia, Albania with Kosovo and Slovenia. And what about our population? Our population hasn't reached 100 million people, but we have reached 71 million people living in the whole kingdom of Ukraine. Well, basically by the end of the 20th century, we are going to have 100 million people living in the whole kingdom of Ukraine. I promise it to you. Basically, we have reunified Ukraine, we have destroyed Russia one by one, we have liberated Belarus, and the whole Europe is just under our control, as well as Mongolia. So I think that this Kaiser Redux campaign is successful. And also we have promoted Poltava pretty good. I'm proud of it. So thanks for watching and bye!